Dear Dad, I want to apologize for misinterpreting your behavior. I was left waiting for you in the waiting room. I came out a bit late and you were already gone. It hurt. I was instantly wounded as my interpretation of your actions was judgmental. I jumped to the immediate conclusion that you had changed your mind, that you did not want me anymore, that our spiritual contract had been broken. I sat there, as I still do so many times, in the hope that you would come back for me. I cried. I went from anger and frustration to sadness and feeling sorry for myself. I made decisions and then doubted them. And then I made another decision and then doubted it. And like that, I built that part of me that became totally insecure with divine masculine energy. Then summarizing it all, I decided that the best option out of all of these was to put the full blame on you. So like that, I started my journey of thousands of years to this day. Whilst I was sitting there, going through all these memories, I talked to people who came in and out of the waiting room. As I told them my story, a piece of me went with them every time they left the room. I did not realize that this was actually making me weaker and weaker energetically. I became vulnerable and pray for external forces to manipulate my energy and install thought patterns and programs that I was not even aware of existing. Every time I shared my story, I consented to the usage of it. So like that, I started my journey of life on earth. Wounded, bruised, and programmed. My journey started in anger, resentment, and blame. I would not have it in any other way, because this suited the mood and the spirit I was in. As far as I was concerned, that was all your fault. And so I went on living my life blaming you and every divine masculine energy on earth for not aligning with life. All my action taken event would be tampered forever as far as I was concerned. And now I have someone to blame and a good reason to justify my behavior. I went on living like this and accumulating more reasons to justify my behavior and attitudes for thousands of years. Incarnation after incarnation, trapped in my own illusion of life, helped by the dissolution of others and their personal agendas that resonated or helped to add more salt to the wound. I must have been a masochist. But hey, my people please a program, my insecurities and my low self-esteem were all at play here. All these programs, patterns and behaviors were amplified by the journey I also had with the collective. Most of us, are all in the same boat. Hey, party! The more the merrier, right? No, left. Go left. Go in a different direction, my heart said. But who cares about the heart? I was let down by being left waiting in that waiting room to be picked up later by my uncle and my auntie. They became my parents as they took it upon themselves to look after me. It was not the same as, as grateful as I could be. I still dreamt of being with you, growing up with you. Unconsciously, I decided to make you proud of me, to please you in my smallest, but also my most significant life event. I did it all for you in search of your approval. What a messed up way to be. You were wounded too messed up and behaving as you thought best. Two wounds don't make a heal. But so we were on our journey, two wounded hearts in search of each other. 
We looked everywhere, but our wounds blinded us. Our wounding created situations that only created more separation, more distance between each other, more pain, suffering, and resentment. To bridge this, forgiveness has to happen. Forgiveness of the self, forgiveness of the other. What if the story was different? What if we got it all wrong about each other and the motives behind the initial behavior? What if the reason you left me there is because you also thought my slight delay in showing up was also a rejection of my part? What if? You went on building another family with someone else. You created a life that stood in the shoes you had for me. I took it deeply, personally. I was so hurt. That life, that energy went on creating an imitation of life that was not he. In your eagerness to have me, you created a bad copy of me. The wounds and the spiritual damages from this action were immense. I carried on blaming you, not recognizing my doing in this, and not recognizing my ability to respond to this was not great at all. So dear dad, please forgive me for judging you so hard, for not giving you a chance to explain your side of the story, for being so righteous and so ingrained in my own story, my own pain, my own suffering, which made me incapable of seeing your side. I had no empathy and no compassion towards you. I was just wounded, hurt and bruised. I just want you to know my healing journey has started. It is going well, and soon I will be able to meet you again under different emotional circumstances. I hope to grow up, I hope to mature, I hope to recognize more how important you are to me, but mostly how important it is for me and for everyone involved to heal the heart. I cannot do it for you, but starting by doing mine is the only thing I can control in this situation. I love you very much, and I love myself even more, because I know now that all you did was because you loved me so much that your impatient perception of the situation caused you to create a copy of myself. I so look forward to meeting you very soon. In the meantime, in love.